What's up, everyone? My name is Tenha. I stream on Twitch and sometimes on YouTube, but I usually stream on Twitch and make YouTube videos. For those of you guys who's watching this video for the first time, I would like to let you know that I was more of a lucky guy who started playing this game and spent a lot of money in the first week to get myself known. So, because I know that, I had to try extra hard to become a better person as a content creator. I tried to push for informational videos, guide videos. I talk about some issues, but because all went to shit, I took the position in the YouTube as, I would say, the real guy who has boomer hands. And I liked it. To be honest, I had a two computer setup, and because I'm, I'm in like my 30s, my response time is pretty bad. That's why I don't play FPS. So, uh, that was my background story as a Genshin content creator. And I have recently found out that the thumbnails and the titles actually really matter. So, I was able to find some great people in the community. Although sometimes I disagree, I push out a video with some thumbnails and titles. And that was the start of this problem. Because of the latest video I released on Keqing, it said, how I accidentally built the best Keqing on YouTube. Well, first of all, when you see this title, you can always think that it's bullshit. I learned a lot from the best of the best. And I was like, okay, this is pretty good. You know, it's working. So anyways, there was a content creator. He wrote something on Twitter saying that he's going to compare his C0 Keqing to my C6 Keqing and have a damn showdown or something like that in Spanish. So I went ahead and used the translator to say... I don't speak Spanish, so I'm using a translator. You can have it. Like as in, I don't care who is the best, you can be the best, whatever. I could have just ignored it, but it was very dumb for me to not think twice of his real intention. But I found out why. He was actually butthurt. What he tweeted was, I'm going to compare my C0 Keqing with Tenha C6 and we're going to do a damage comparison in Spanish. And he mentioned me. So after that, I used translator to write this short sentence so that the translation can be a little more precise. And then he goes, Tomorrow, I'll make a reaction to your Keqing video because I want to compare your damage with mine in a healthy way, of course. You win for me all the time, my friend, heart. I don't know this guy, okay? That was the thing. I don't know this guy. He didn't ask me before, so I said, I do not have a personal relationship with you. You did not ask for permission beforehand, so you should just use the screenshot for the damage comparison. Please do not just take the video and react to it. This was actually a good thing that I said to him because if he just took it without my permission, I would have copyright strike his video anyways. I don't like that. That's why I hate leakers who make money off of it. And I also hate those highlight channels who take your clips out of nowhere and make money off of it. Anyways, and then after that, he says, oh, sorry. This message was after that. Before I streamed, this was for him saying he's gonna react to my video. Greetings. I am very sorry for the public comment about reacting to your video. I should have asked permission first privately before doing something. My idea was simply to compare Keqing without looking for followers or fame. I am a creator of Spanish speaking content and people know you for what you do and many had that illusion and gave me that idea. I apologize again and I forget all this. Your comment really made me feel bad because I was very excited to do something without asking and it got cut out. This was before I streamed yesterday. So before everything went to shit. So basically, he was butthurt that I said I had the strongest catching or best catching on YouTube. When you see those kind of things, as a viewer, you have all your rights to say, mine's better. Hey, as a viewer, you can think of it like that. But as a content creator, you probably know better that we are just making contents. We are trying to get people's clicks with titles. There could be some misleading keywords to get your views. But once you start watching my videos, then you just kind of enjoy your next 10 minutes. That's what you call a clickbait. Now, back to the topic. Was I mad? When he said, what the fuck is wrong with you, you China man? Because of what he said to me? No, he's probably dumb to generalize everyone. Little did he know, I'm Korean. So when he said, China man, that's not the part where I got pissed. I was pissed because he was racist. As a content creator, can you imagine that? Now, we're gonna run this clip and tell me what you hear. Le puso la gorra al chinito, sí, es un hijo de puta, mándaselo a ese marrano se lo merece totalmente. Es más, me provoca hasta mañana esperar que se conecte y enviarle unos 100 bits y decirle, ¿qué rayos te pasa a ti, chino de mierda? 
I don't know why he would say those kind of things. Well, let's listen to all the clips that we have. Los asiáticos son así. Pues sí, la verdad que sí, porque yo trabajo para chinos, amigos, y son lo peor. O sea, para mí, los, las peores personas del mundo, sin que me perdonen, de verdad, porque no todos son iguales, pero trabajar con chinos es lo peor del mundo. After I tell him not to react to my video, he says, Chinese people are the worst to work with. So if he said this out of nowhere, it could be an opinion that people can think it's out of context. Okay, he might be working under a Chinese company, which can be taken as an opinion. After I tell him to not steal my shit, he says this. This is where my blood started boiling. We are gonna watch this after. No le quiero quitar absolutamente nada, solo le... Lo peor caso es que ojalá tuviese en este Discord, porque lo tengo en el Discord que estaba con, uh, antes que fuese eliminado. Tenía toda la conversación con él en la que... Bueno, no sé si en el que Shin Mei se vea, pero es que no puedo abrir el Discord. No sé si en el que Shin Mei se puedan ver las conversaciones antiguas. Sí, yo no sé si qué quiere que... A ver, yo no quiero la fama de él, me da igual. So, in this clip, I believe he talks about how he talked to me in Kiching main Discord place where I want to avoid the most and in the beginning of the launch I was making a lot of shit videos so I said Kaching sucks large portion of people from Kaching main does not like me which is totally fine first thing first I I joined Kaching main discord to see how it was like and then I searched for my name I left immediately because I was too scared to face the hate anyways this guy is saying that he talked to me in Discord. I do not talk there. So people were saying, maybe you talked to him in your Discord. So I, I looked for his name. He's not there. There is no trace that he has joined my Discord. So I have no idea who this guy is. Yo no tengo relación personal contigo, maldito cabrón. Si hablamos por Discord. Él quedó como forro. Sí, se cagó. Se cagó. Es más, mañana subo el video y lo voy a decir. El niño se me cagó. Listo. He mentions me out of nowhere, right? So we know that he's full of shit. So he says those kind of things and he says, Oh, you know what? I'm gonna spend 100 bitties and say, What the fuck is wrong with you, China man? To my stream, okay? But you know what he did? Instead of saying, What the fuck is wrong with you, China man? He writes this. This is before I found out that he was a racist. So I was doing my contents yesterday. During that time, he sends me this. Hello, Tenha. Good morning. Sorry about yesterday. My intention is not to annoy you or use your content to gain fame. I apologize publicly and it will not happen again. Good day. Uh, I was telling people not to say that back. How he looks like whatever. No, he looks like a human to me. He was just racist. But anyways, he apologized. Surprisingly, he sounded very arrogant. He's like, you know, I would like to say sorry for Asian guy and Tenha for for this and then you know after that he screenshots that donation message and he says yeah so i went into his stream to say sorry but i still get a lot of shit so from that i replied why do you lie because that's not what you said sorry for and then he goes that's exactly why i'm apologizing facing the public he acts like he knows me and he probably wanted to act strong in front of his community. A lot of my friends do that too. Like, I fucking hate that. They're like, yeah, dude, you know. He would probably say he knows Mr. Beast too. But anyways, all I see from this guy is that he was butthurt that somebody said that their kitchen is the best when he thinks his kitchen is the best. What, you do uh, 1k more damage with a kitchen? Congratulations, your kitchen is the best. I still don't understand why he got triggered as a content creator. And I do understand that a lot of people have prejudice with China as a country. Whether if it's political or not, I thought that this would be a good opportunity for people to learn and be surprised to find a very good Chinese game. It was very refreshing for me as well. A lot of the Chinese games, they always rip people off. They just leave after like a couple of months. But now that we have MiHoYo to represent Chinese games, I thought it would be really nice for them to change the thoughts about people for China. But anyways, it was very sad and surprising to see a content creator that is racist. It was very hard for me to decide if I should be confronting this or not. Atsu, Asian guy stream, said things on Twitter. Now that he made a video, now that I'm making a video, it's gonna be in public. To prevent these kind of people to show up ever again, I had to report him. I decided by looking at all his behaviors and how he talks on YouTube, he needs to be gone. He needs to be gone. I talked to my company about this. I talked to YouTube, Twitch about this, and I still feel like this is the best way. Although I don't think I'm like the good representation of Korea, I still think as a human being, I do have 
good heart and I do not discriminate people and I do not tolerate racism. I could not sleep yesterday. I had a good amount of time thinking about this issue. I just wish this hate thing was non-existent. I wish more people were like people in the Genshin community because I know that a lot of you guys cannot tolerate that kind of things. So what we can do as a whole is that as a person, as a human being, we have to embrace the differences. You speak different language? Oh, cool. I was very, very sad to see Atsu shaking like that. I could see the disappointment in his eyes. It sucked. It really sucked. Like, we face a lot of those kind of things. We see those every day in the comments. It's fine. Because we understand there are a lot of kind of people out there. They could be racist. They could be just hateful towards you. But from a content creator, there were a good amount of people in his stream too. I believe he needs to be removed from the platform indefinitely. And it was pretty sad for me to not be able to show you the whole story because he deleted his account on Twitter. Basically, he was giving hearts to those people who were backing him up. It was disgusting. I'm not going to ask you guys to stand up and stop them. What we can do on the internet, we can actually fight against the racism, but not with hate. Just say whatever you're doing is wrong, but that's all we can say. We have to confront it the right way. I guess that's the only thing we can do for now. And that was my whole story. By now, after watching this video, you would probably know that he's not telling the truth. He was trying to take this to say that he apologized for him being racist. And after I ask why he's lying, he says this. He was also telling his viewers in the latest Kaching video, which is now either deleted or hidden, that I have talked to him in person and that I said sorry. Why would I ever say sorry for telling somebody not to react to my video when I could have just copyright strike the person later? Let me emphasize, I did not know this guy before this incident and I have never talked to him. Guys, I just wanted to raise attention that this part of Genshin Impact community exists and they're very dangerous. It's a shame that this racist guy is somewhat representing the Spanish-speaking Genshin community and that many people are fooled that he's a good guy and they're supporting him. He has uploaded his apology video and he keeps calling me Chinese. He called me Asian once, but he called me Chinese at least five times. He also says how he's not racist because he has people of color in his family, Kylo Ren. You know how funny this sounds, right? You're playing victim by saying you know how it feels to get racially discriminated, and yet you still did it. Racism is not a fucking competition. You can see that throughout the video, he's interacting with his chat that backs him up. I was going to let this go, but since he keeps on trying to hide his ugly side of his face, I was forced to make this video. Kylo Ren, because you're dangerous enough to put words in people's mouth and put a mask on your face, I'm exposing part of your stream. Your racist viewers, or people who doesn't know your real side, came over to attack me and say, I did this to you. No, Kylo Ren, you did this to yourself. Adios.